This video is sponsored by PDF Element. So why am I making this video? Well, first of all, yeah, it's sponsored, but also I've been using the product for over three months. It's the best PDF editor on the market. It's super intuitive and cheap. It's the best alternative to the Adobe thing that I forgot the name of, but it's just so much better and it's cheaper. Like, come on, let's get started. If you just go to the edit tab, you can easily see how to edit everything. Here, I just deleted a whole line. If you look at the title, I can resize it just as easily and I can move around the text boxes. Next, if we go to markup, we can easily use different shapes and tools like arrows, circles, or squares, as I'm showing here. It's just for centering your attention to something and uh, there is no limit to the amount of squares you can have. You can also leave comments and this is especially useful if you're having a group project. I haven't used this yet, but I'm sure in a situation where I have to, I would love using this feature. And here you can make stamps. And this is pretty useful when you're signing something or you just want to show that it's approved or declined. Here I'm importing a file that's scanned by my phone. So it's a PDF file, but there is no text. And with this OCR text recognition, I can easily convert it into editable text. So here I can edit all of the lines just as before, and it's so simple to use. I just deleted a few things and you can still move around things as well. It's like magic, honestly. There's not much apps that can do this. Now, again, you can go to markup and add arrows or lines. It's just really intuitive. Next, if we go to another document, we can see that we can add watermarks. So if you want to watermark something and you don't want other people to copy it, then this is a great option. Here, as you can see, I'm importing a logo from my logo folder and you can easily overlay it on top of the document and every page of the document. It does it automatically for you and centers it so you don't have to do anything. It looks perfect. Next, we can add forms. So here I'm adding a form for you to sign and it's just one of these selections above. On the toolbar, there's so many other selections like it's basically like Google Forms, except you know, it's built into the PDF. And here I'm signing the document and you can easily make a hand signature like I've done here. That's my signature. If you want to uh, take a statement from my bank account, you can easily copy that. Here is the perspective of the person signing the document. It just automatically fills it in. And when you save it, it automatically just applies the changes. I have to cover up my uh, email and everything so that you guys don't um, know my personal email. And there we have it. So we just made this whole document and it took like what, three minutes? So it's super intuitive to use and it's super quick. It's a really powerful app, yet it's really lightweight to run on your computer. It works on Mac, Windows, iPhones, Androids, everything. So in my opinion, this is one of the best alternatives to the Adobe, what's it called? Overall, sponsorship or not, I believe PDF Element is a great app for what it does. There are three links in the description down below uh, where you can check out. One gets you up to $60 off of your purchase. Another one is um, a free trial of 14 days, so two weeks basically. It's where you can try out the app and see if it's for you. And finally, um, I have a link where it basically teaches you everything the app does. So. I know the program is really intuitive and everything, but you don't want to miss out on any feature where it could be very important. That's about it. Um, I hope you liked the video and please leave a like. Don't forget to drink water and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.